Howdy there, DBF family. So I got one question for you. Were you once a child? I know I once was. Still act like one a lot of the times, according to my wife, but that's all right. When you was a child, did you have one of these? If you said yes to that, did you ever think as a kid, man, I wish we could take a motor and put in this thing and turn it into like a go-kart wagon? Well, if you said to that, man, third time's a charm, you're in luck again, because that's exactly what we're gonna do with a whole bunch of old wagons. I'm gonna build this one. I've got another one we can build for probably Jace or somebody that wants to come along for the ride. I know Jed's gonna build one and he's actually gonna build a pedal car that he has with, I believe, a two-stroke motor in it. So these things are gonna be a ball. I can't wait to get these things done and go for a rip. So let me show you what we've got for parts. All right, so it's what's funny about this project is there's a guy, I believe he's called a Go-Kart King or something like that on Instagram, that he's built one that's kind of similar to what I have in mind up here of what I want mine to be. Um, I saw that thing, man, I forwarded it to Jed and he's like, dude, we got to build a couple of these things. That thing is awesome. He showed it to his kids and his kids, his boys are just like, why don't we have those? So. That's kind of what sparked the uh, the kind of what sparked the fire on building these project is his kids are totally into this. He's into it. I think it's going to be a ball. I mean, who who's not a grown adult that doesn't want to relive stuff that they couldn't have when they were children? So that's kind of where we're at. But that being said, is without even knowing it, pretty much all the parts I bought for this thing have been off of Amazon and it's kind of created a theme for this project. So we're gonna try to build this entire thing out of Amazon parts. Now, before you guys go in the comments, I mean, and you know, just blow up the comment sections with, oh, there's companies that build go-kart parts and you know, stuff like that. I, I'm aware of it. I've looked at a lot of their parts. They're awesome parts, but not everybody's going to go to those websites and order parts. Pretty much, I don't know anybody that doesn't buy stuff off of Amazon. So I think that's the way we're going to theme this as Amazon parts. So I'm going to get some measurements done on this thing. Uh, the only parts that we haven't really got from Amazon is the bare metal. We're going to use one inch eighth wall square tubing for the subframe of these to mount the motor, axle, and basically give it a structure for the pan of the wagon to sit on. So that being said, I'm going to get some uh, sketches drawn up, do some rough measurements of where I want the motor to sit, how far I want the front axle to sit, how far the rear axle I want it to sit, how low I want it to sit, jot down a bunch of stuff and basically build the frame on paper and then we'll start cutting metal and transferring it over. All right, so went ahead Got some rough measurements of the chassis for this thing and got them sketched out on my grid paper. So next step is to remove the tub and basically remove the old axles and steering off of this because I'm, I'm not gonna use it. So as you can see, this thing is, uh, it's pretty rusty. I mean, it's, I mean, it's old. It's lived outside its entire life. So I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can squirt some of this uh, all free too. I use this all the time, I mean, I also have used, you know, the old PB blaster. Can't go wrong with that stuff. Pretty much everybody's got their favorite. This stuff, I'm kind of sold on it. It works really well. It's from Sunrise. Uh, use it automotive world pretty much daily. So I'm going to throw some penetrating oil on these bolts and see if I can get this thing off. Might have to just end up cutting the bolts. We'll see. 
All right, so while I'm letting the penetrating oil on this thing do its job, I got a question for you guys and leave it down in the comments if you have a suggestion. So I would like to keep this, this patina that is actually on this thing, you know, somewhat patinaed. I don't want to paint it because, I mean, this thing is, it's earned this patina and I want to leave the look of it. And you know, I've, I've rubbed some WD-40 across it. I've run some PB Blaster and it's doing an okay job, but I don't want to remove it, but I want to protect it and maybe actually bring the patina out. So my question is, what do you guys know of that maybe do rat rods or hot rods that spray on your panels to maintain the patina without having to clear coat it um, and not have to worry about it really rust? And I've, like I said, I've heard of guys use WD-40 and oils, but I don't want it to attract a whole lot of dirt. So go ahead, comment down below, and I appreciate it. Ha, <laughs> like butter so far. Oh. Spoke too soon, didn't I? Yep, that one's not coming out. <laughs> so, here's Jed. Jed showed up today after work Finally. and we're working on the old, I don't know, we're calling this a wagon cart. I don't know, but we got parts everywhere. But I got something special for Jed. Check this out. So I had Brunt Boots reach out to me and say, hey, we want to send you guys some boots. So check it out. I got Jed a pair of boots. He hasn't even seen these things yet. I wear Brunt work boots. Jace wears them and I love them. They're awesome. Ooh, t-shirts too. T-shirts. Sweet. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. Your feet will thank you later. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Brunk Boots. I'm on my feet all day long. Jed's on his feet all day long. Jace is on her. We're, we're on our feet all day long, and we're not really necessarily easy on footwear. So... I'm sold on them. I was another brand guy for years and years until I tried these out and I won't have nothing else on my feet at this point. So thanks again, Brunt. Appreciate it. What we're doing this afternoon or this evening, I should say, is we're making rear axle hubs. So we ordered rear axles, like I said, off Amazon and they pretty much had no measurements or descriptions of wheel lug patterns or anything like that. Well, these were a four lug that were about yay tall and four lug, we need three lug. So what I'm doing is I'm machining the four lug hubs on the lathe, turning them down so we can tap and re-drill these to three lugs in order to match our wheels. Kind of doing it the hard way, but again, all the stuff that we've got off Amazon they have almost no measurements. So Jed's run into the same problem I ran into, but yeah, it's all part of the fun. What are you building, Jed Dyer? I'm trying to drill a hole and I'm kind of sucking. <laughs> you suck at it? Well, this lip like is catching. Oh, the drill, right, right, like, right. And it's like being angry. I try to get a running start, I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> They're in low range. Yeah, low range. Turns out that chuck's no good, huh? Don't like it. It's a piece of poop. So Jed is drilling and tapping the holes for the wheel bolts. Home homemade hub. Like yay. I'm about done with that one over there. So we should have some rear wheels on this thing before long. P bizzle. Little lube. Never hurt nobody. Old wise man once told me Lube is the key to all aspects of life. True, true, wise man. We got quite a bit done tonight, me and Ojeda I Got the rear hubs all built, machined, mounted on the axle. It's looking pretty good, check this out. So it's getting kind of late and uh, we both got to work tomorrow. So Jed took off. He'll be back out tomorrow night after work and uh, 
I think we're actually going to start tackling the frame on this thing. So we'll see you guys tomorrow afternoon. All right, well, we're back in the garage this afternoon and uh, we're cutting out frame rails. Dad's over here marking the old tubing. Sophisticated. Sophisticated. Oh, geometry math. Yeah, how do you feel about that? I don't know, my head hurts. <laughs> hurts. I went ahead, let's see, I'll just show you. Kind of traced out the frame, basically the basic shape of the frame. So this will be more or less the front axle, right hand side frame rail, left hand, and then the back. So we went ahead, cleaned the tubing up, cut some angles. We got some degrees for our caster for the front axle on here for the high speed maneuverings. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and cut out two more chunks. We're actually gonna build three frames because we got three wagons to build. So we're gonna go ahead and chop up some more tubing and get them tacked together. It's tacked it did. So I am heading over to Fab Rats. He's been nice enough to let me come over and borrow his uh, plasma table and we need engine mounts. So that's where we're going. So let's go get in the truck and run over there. All right, so we're rolling out of Knab here on my way over to Paul's. I got to make a pit stop up at Jed's shop just north of town here and uh, pick up some 3 16 plate because our local steer <laughs> nah, can't even talk. Our local steel yard here, uh, they decided they're not going to be open today. So Jed's going to loan me some plate, some steel plate to cut out until I can get it replaced for him on Monday. And uh, so we're going to make a pit stop there and uh, we'll head on over to Paul's, over to Fab Rats and see if they can hook us up. I'm pretty sure they can. So see you in a minute. What in the heck are you I'm doing? Here. What did you do to your arm? Well, I tried to beat Paul up. And how'd that go? <laughs> did he win? How's he look? He looks pretty bad. Does he? <laughs> no. No, I, I broke my arm taking the trash out. Oh, my hell. I went dumpster diving oh my hell. in my own trash can. Oh, God. It's Get over a, here and give me a damn it's hug, a though. Boss thing. <laughs> oh, hell. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's okay, sweetheart. Oh. Get my camera. Hey, are you filming us filming me? Yeah, this is like Three, art. Two D or three. I don't know. Is is a picture of a picture? Isn't that considered <laughs> art? <laughs> yeah. Oh, what are we building? We're building the landing for our staircase. Oh. In the new shop. Nice. Heck yeah. We tack her up. Perfect. We got to check some things out around here though. Hey, this thing's looking good, though. This thing's going to be pretty cool. Oh, yeah. Pretty cool stuff. You just do that every so often so it shows you a, a line, basically. Yep. Okay. Oh, yeah, it's... Look at that! It's like that, uh, what was that? Etch-a-sketch, yeah. man. Yeah, it's a cool et etch-a-sketch thingy. Okay, somehow we didn't get the center of those right. Well, if we are involved in this thing, I'm not sure what I could have done. How did I not? How did I not get the center of the? Oh, maybe it went off the point of them instead of that's what I did. I'm not real certain what's going on, so I'm just here for moral support at this point. I need lots of that, actually. <laughs> you have it. Perfect. We hit this little thing right here. Yeah. And we save it. Looks crooked. That's because the metal's setting on the table crooked. Oh. But it'll right. cut it out. Well, oh, and that line's it's yeah. an optical illusion thing. Yeah. Huh? We'll we'll test this real quick and we'll see if it's gonna do what you want it to. Okay. It's cutting the wrong line. It sure is. That's why we test it. That one that was golden. I put it on the wrong line when I did it. Well, you know, you can't expect this thing to work the first time every time. 
It's pretty cool, but it's that only it's cool. only as good as the person programming it. I can so totally understand that. Yeah. Yeah, so it's gonna work. We'll go back and fix that. Okay. And get it dialed in. It's not leaving it anymore, Kev. We've ruined it. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah! yeah. Man, that blind squirrel finds a net every, every once in a while. In a while. I'm gonna get out of the way. It's good, yep, it's good. You can grab that. I'm How good. many times have you fallen for that one yet? I almost grab it about every time. <laughs> I, I don't. Bet. I don't. Oh, Did you just mirror them? Look. Cockeyed? Yeah. Let's get a square. Uh, maybe it's my one leg that screwed up or something. I don't know, but... I don't let's, let's grab a square and see here. All right, we, uh, we started cutting these out. We thought we were doing great things. And then we realized this. That, like... It's a long ways off a square. Close-ish. And... <laughs> We tried to calibrate the machine. It is not calibrating, it's rejecting it. So, it's gonna be quicker at this point for him to go cut them out El Manuel. Yeah, we'll go home and uh, so. do it old school way with a square. I know that'll work. <laughs> well, sorry, we're oh, not Thanks for help. trying though. Yep. It, was, it was cool to watch it cut it out crooked. That was impressive. <laughs> it did a good job. I'll, you know what, I'll even leave the pieces here for you. Thanks, man. Just so you can have them as a trophy. Thanks a lot. <laughs> we learned from our failures, they say. Oh, geez. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> thanks, Grandma. <laughs> thanks a lot. Oh, the hell. Well, good morning there, DBF family. Well, the sun's just barely come up over the hill to my right. We're headed northbound, and we're headed out to go meet up with Paul. He, uh, while I was over there last night, he got a call for a recovery here in Kanab up Pog Canyon, and wanted to know if I wanted to ride up and go with him this morning. So, that's where I'm headed. Let's go meet up with him, and uh, should be an interesting day. I don't think it'll be too bad to get out. I've been where the uh, where the vehicle's at. Shouldn't be too challenging, but you never know. So let's go up there, meet up with Paul, and see how the day takes us. There he is. We got her unloaded. I'm gonna throw the camera back in my truck. You guys, uh, you guys will have to go over to his channel and watch this because this video will post before he does. So gonna have to wait and see what this recovery's like. Well, we got her down off the trail. All gonna take back this up on their trailer for them. And uh, be down the road. We got her out, got her loaded up, and uh, we're gonna jump the old wrecker up on top of the wrecker. And I'm gonna get my truck and... Uh, he's hot rodding. We'll go meet Jed and get back to working in the garage. <clears throat> well, that was a pretty good time, actually. It's been a long time since I've been with Paul on a crawler of any sort. That was fun. I uh, kind of miss it, not gonna lie. So if you guys want to uh, see that recovery, you'll have to go over to his channel and watch it, I guess. So I'm headed back to the garage. I'm gonna go meet up with Jed and we're gonna be back on the old wagons today, see if we can get them things in a roller. I don't think it'll be a problem. I think we'll get her handled today. So we'll see you guys back at the house. All right, made her back in the garage. We got Jed on board. Say hi, Jed. Hello. Hello. So I am back on the engine mounts for this project and I've gone ahead and already marked these out with a Sharpie and have my pilot holes already center punched. So I'm gonna go the old school way with the old hand plasma cutter, got my straight edge cut these things out and then I think we'll uh, probably end up at Jed's shop today to mill out where the motor mounts adjustments are. So I'm gonna get the thing fired up, get the old plasma fired up and get them cut out. Jed's building front wheels, another pair of front wheels. He's gonna go lay the machine out the centers. He's already got mine all drilled out. So we gotta go 
from that to that so the hubs will sit down in and bolt them up. Get that done, we'll build front axles and see if we can get at least one of these in a roller, if not two. The joys of making things work that were never meant to work together. Yeah, kind of fun though. While I'm over there cutting, Jeff's using this press slash tire machine. <laughs> Seems to actually work pretty good though. I haven't, had any, I haven't had any trouble so far. And the worst part is, is like we both have access to two tire machines. Right. They're just not here. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, these seem, yeah you're there. Look at that. Work like a champ. Easy peasy. The company that sent me this press and a bunch of other tools actually sent me the wheels and the tires. And kind of ironic, I didn't know they did go-kart tire stuff. They sell all kinds of stuff. So. If you guys are on Amazon and looking for something weird that you don't know who sells it, I almost guarantee that this Vivor company sells it on Amazon. So go over to Amazon, search the Vivor, and uh, I almost guarantee they'll have it. Yeah, do that again. Van of White. Van of White. Da -da -da. That's the company right there. So far, everything I've had them send me is pretty good stuff, and it's relatively inexpensive. So pretty happy with it wheels and tires mounted up check that out had the machinist a new spacer Jed got the hubs all done bolted up we'll cut off that center axle so the threads aren't sticking out quite so much after we get it all done he's over there we've done some measuring how wide we want the front axle he's gonna chop the front axle down and then we will disassemble these weld the knuckles to the new axle and then weld it to the frame and we'll pretty much have us a roller once we get the rear axle bolted in so things are starting to come together but it's taking a little longer because we're doing everything in pairs because we're building a whole pile of these things and if we're building what we're doing we might as well do it all at once ain't that right jedediah seven seven we're building seven maybe <laughs> I don't know if we're building seven now, but who knows? We might build 50 of these things if they turn out good and they're kind of cool. I don't know, we'll see. Nailed it. Fire. Now all we gotta do is replicate that uh, three more times. That's pretty good. That's what I got left of a, a full stick. No, I'm done. Yeah. Hey, we got two front axles. Same. Looks the same. Taste it. See if it's the same. <laughs> Love it when a plan comes together. That baby's our firecracker hot. Them look good. Yeah. Look like it's something you buy from the store. Uh, Amazon. No, they're not. They're better more, than that. More quality. Than that. I think so. I mean, we kind of did buy it from Amazon, parts and pieces. But, uh, should we go up and mill some of these out while these are cooling? Let them cool so we don't weld them and they get cool and go cack and then screw up our other work. Yep, I agree. I think it's a good plan. Well, I think if we're going to do that, I'm going to fire up that gray truck out there and take it because it needs to be ran. Okay. We, are you scared to ride in a big truck? With you, maybe. <laughs> I don't blame you. I've seen <laughs> me drive. All right, so we rolled up here to Jed's shop and he's gonna throw the engine mount plates in his mill and mill us out a slot there and a slot there on all three plates for our engine to slide back and forth so we get a chain adjuster. So he's gonna get that dealt with and he's gonna make some stuff.
one more. Looking good. All right, we got them all. Well, Jed got them all machined out. Uh, I just got a text message. We got a special guest when we get back to the garage. A special guest? Yeah, a special guest. From your wife? From my life, yeah. Your wife texted you that? No. Oh. I got a special guest in my shop. Wait. But anybody that comes to visit is special. True. But we decided to do, uh, I decided to fire up the OKW and bring it up here because we come to a diesel shop, you know, you gotta come with a <laughs> diesel. And this thing hasn't been driven for a while, so. That's why we're in this old girl. I should have made you mill and I should have messed around with the speedometer. Yeah, no biggie. Next time? Next time. We made her back to the garage and look who we found when we got here. My buddy Troy. He's gonna hang out with us for a while this afternoon, but here's the plates, got them all cut out. So we're ready to TIG weld the axle to the chassis. So I'm gonna get that thing fired up, get it welded in, and we'll uh, see if we can get a motor in this thing, get it in a roller. Any thoughts? Thoughts? Bacon. Bacon. Bacon, I like bacon. Like we thought, we're gonna have to run a jack shaft with a series of sprockets to make the chain line up from the motor to the rear axle. So we're gonna do a little measuring on that. Still waiting, still waiting on a few parts to get that to all work together, but we're gonna work on that for a minute and then we'll get the uh, steering put together and we'll roll this thing out and show you what it's gonna look like with the tub and all that good stuff on it. Don't worry. I'm cutting the correct line this time, I think. So heavy. Tight, 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 fit. Oops. Well, it's turning out to be a fairly tight fit with all this. We're just kind of bolting together and trimming as we go. Trying to save as much as the factory floor pan as possible, but it may come all out before we're done. But it's tight, tight quarters. Not the world. Funny thing of it is, I think we're gonna have to come right back out because I'm looking at the drain hole right here on the front. I got it, I got it, I got a question. Why are we? Yeah. <laughs> Just had a. Why are we dinking with bolts on this? Why don't we just put studs in the motor and then set the studs, the washers and everything wow. right down through and then just spin nuts on the bottom? That's too easy. We just gotta do it the hard way. Wouldn't that make a lot more sense? <laughs> I uh, never claimed to be a super intelligent man. So, uh, yeah, let's go see if we can find some bolts and turn into studs, eh? <laughs> Shut up, Kevin. <laughs> as much my fault as anybody's. <laughs> yeah, I think that setup's not gonna work. We're gonna build studs. Um, yeah, we do things the hard way. So Jed, tell me the story you just barely told me. <laughs> so when I was a little kid, like building this wagon just reminded me of a, a thing that I built when I was like 10 or 11 years old. And I took a power wheels that didn't work, just disconnected the motor. And I would, I'd take it and I'd just ride it down hills, you know, just for fun. But I, I got all into it and I wanted it kind of cooler than what it was. So I, with my skills, I, I built a wooden cab around <laughs> it. Like it looked like a Flintstone thing or something. Like it was pretty, um, not very well done. <laughs> not very well done. Um, Way to be played for But like, it was just so much fun. Like, like, you know, being that little and just like pretending to drive and do things. But like my mom wishes, she regrets that she never took a picture of that to like go back and look at it. I built like a little thing in the back so we could like put snacks in, <laughs> like just 
just randomly, you know, like, I don't know, what a ten-year-old kid would do, thought it was fun. That's awesome. But it was, it was a pretty good time, and it's just kind of bringing back memories, but I, I wish I had skills like I do now, and oh, do something yeah. like to that power wheels, like this. Right. And that's, but, that's kind of like I was saying earlier, you know, every, every kid that I know wish they could have done something like this, or, you know, did do stuff like this, and now we're just bigger kids and I think our toys are just kind of going to be next level big kid stuff. And Little kid, big kid. So. Yeah. Needless to say, I think we're kind of reliving our youth just slightly and I'm having a ball. It's going to be a Last blast. Last time, I swear. For a minute anyway. For about 15 minutes. Oh, yes. That was about eight billion times easier. <laughs> I never did that before. I apologize. Like I said, not a smart man. Hey, look at that. Very solid. I think so. Well guys, we've officially ran out of parts on the wagon project, so they should be here early this week. Um, we'll get going back on it next weekend, but I gotta give a big shout out to Paul for taking the time out of his day to uh, you know, fire up his plasma table and try cutting those engine plates out for me. We couldn't get it to calibrate, so I had to do it, as you saw, the old fashioned way, which was fine. Um, but huge shout out for him for taking time out of his day and I appreciate him taking me along on the recovery the other day too that was that was fun haven't done anything like that in quite some time um, also got to give a shout out to Jed for letting me go up him milling those uh, engine plates out I cut out with the plasma that was a huge time saver that was just awesome um, you know and this week we'll we'll get more done on it off camera probably get some things figured out this thing took a lot of time and a lot of thinking and brain power which i don't have a ton of to you know make things this can work that can work you know plan for ahead and whatnot so and we you know like i said earlier we duplicated a lot of parts because next week we're going to build jed's wagon so obviously when we're building something we might as well build a couple sets of them but uh Make sure you guys are all subscribed and like it and comment and share it and do all that. All that does is help out the channel to where I can afford to build fun things like these and bring content to you that I hope you guys are all enjoying. So uh, hopefully next week we can get this thing fired up and make some noise out of this motor. So as always, I appreciate every single one of you and thanks for watching and we'll catch you on the next one.